Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Great Scott LP speedrunning tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do password skip. And this is for uh, the Wind Waker for GameCube. It's not going to be for uh, HD. There are specific strats for that. I'm going to be showing you two skips today. The first one is going to be the newest and fastest, which is the roll clip. The second one I'm going to be showing you is the... Uh, regular storage password skip for those who possibly can't get the roll clip strat down. Uh, the roll clip was found, I believe, by either uh, Nap42 or uh, Gymnast86. Gotta give credit where credit is due. Uh, I just wanted to make a tutorial in which I explain, uh, using words, how to do these skips because all of the tutorials I've seen out there aren't really tutorials. They're just uh, gameplay capture without any sort of um, guidance whatsoever. So hopefully I can provide that for you guys today. So when you're doing the bombs early route, which is the route that everyone should be doing these days since it is the fastest, um, you're going to be super swimming directly to uh, Windfall Island here. And this is about the area that you're going to end up. So what you do is you head on over this way. And this is going to be for both. I'm going to show you the roll clip first. So as you come up this way, Take out your sword. Roll over to this point. Now, this is going to get kind of technical, but I want you to, to follow along here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down L so that you lock on with the wall. You're going to jump onto this ledge right here so that you're halfway inside the beam and halfway on the railing. You're going to hold down L so that you are directly uh, perpendicular to the wall. You're going to press up. Let go of L. Press A. Uh, as you're holding uh, to the side on the control stick there, and you're going to roll clip into uh, this uh, ledge here. So what you do is you hold down L, you back up until you fall, and then you press B to get back up. And we didn't, we, we were a little bit slow there, so we weren't able to actually align it very well. And then you get into this view right here. We need to go just a little bit farther back. You go C up, and then do you see how you see the door right there? You want to align the door with the left part of your screen, just like that. You're going to side hop and then jump slash mid air with B, okay? So hold L, jump to the side and press B. Just like that, and you're in. Okay, so that's our first skip. Second skip is going to be uh, the regular storage password skip. So. Which it's going to be the same thing where you drop down here onto the deck, but instead of taking out your sword, you want to take out the Wind Waker. This is your storage spot right here. Except I need to get storage. <laughs> My timing's a bit off, so I apologize. There we go. So you're going to go here so that you see the icon on the door says open, and you're going to store the uh, password text. So just like that, you're going to climb up here, C-stick over, jump up, sword out, jump slash, forward, side hop, do two rolls. You want to aim a little bit better so you get right in front of the door. Okay, so you're going to open the door here, and when you do that, that's going to bring up the password text from down by the ship. So what you're going to be doing is making sure that you press uh, A, to get through the first text box, you're gonna press B to get out of the password box, and then you're gonna immediately press A in order to get rid of the second text box, okay? So here we go. And then B, and then A. Okay, now don't touch anything. You're standing right in front of the door. This is precisely where you wanna be, okay? So now we're gonna be doing a very specific set of movements. This is gonna be a 100% consistent setup, and you're gonna be able to get through the door pretty quickly. So you're going to be doing three backflips, four left side hops, two backflips, and two left side hops, and then a jump slash, okay? So once again, that's three backflips, four left side hops. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's our three backflips, four left side hops. Okay, and now we're going to be doing two backflips and two left side hops. Okay. Just like that. And now, when we pause, you can see the screen. Look exactly where we are. Pretty nifty, right? Okay. Take out your sword. Jump slash. And you're in. 
So that's how you do both of those. Uh, hopefully you uh, learned something good by watching this. Um, and hopefully you're able to utilize this in your run. I highly recommend doing the roll clip instead of uh, doing the um, instead of doing the regular storage strands. But if you can't get the roll clip down, storage is absolutely a good backup. Uh, I, I timed myself quite a bit uh, both of these strategies, and the roll clip does in fact save you about 30 seconds if you get it on first or second try. So again, it's worth investing the time into doing the roll clip. It's not terribly difficult in. Uh, this version of the Wind Waker. So don't be discouraged by the fact that it's pretty difficult in the Wind Waker HD. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully I'll have some more for you in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.